Hey YouTube, uh, I'm going into a little bit of uh, custom uh, applications here on your PS3. Um, this is for us people who've already done uh, some sort of jailbreak on the device. Uh, I'm currently running uh, 3.55 custom firmware, um, but I wanted to give you a little preview of how you manage your backups uh, once you get that installed. Um, once you're jailbroken, um, you're able to install custom apps, and we're looking at one here called Multiman, which is a game management tool. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And this is a great tool. Uh, the guy who put this together, I think his name is Deke or something around there. Um, you could tell he's just put endless amounts of time into customizing this software. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It does pretty much anything you could want you know, in a uh, management software. So as we're looking at here, this is one of the default uh, interfaces. This mirrors your, your kind of standard PlayStation interface with the, uh, the XMB menu. You know, everything's at the top and you kind of navigate through. Um, that's one way to do it. You can sort through your games here, your backups, um, just by scrolling up and down. If you give it a second, sometimes it will load a custom background like that. It will show the uh, cover art right there. And different features like that. Um, one other thing that's great about this software is you can really customize the look you're going for. So if you press um, R1 trigger while you're in the multi-man screen, it will switch modes. As you can see now, we've got a bit of a different layout showing uh, kind of a list view of all my backups. Um, it may be a bit difficult for you to see at the bottom, but it shows me on the very far left bottom uh, that right there says HDD, which is your internal hard drive, showing I have 44 gigabytes left. Uh, there it says USB 2, and that's where I'm basically backing up all of my games. So, you know, whenever you uh, insert a CD, a uh, PlayStation 3 game, you have the option to copy that game to a external hard drive. So it's great for me because I've got like a hundred games and instead of having to pop CDs in all the time, I backed up all of them pretty much to my uh, two terabyte external hard drive. So now anytime I want to play, I'm not, you know, sorting through all my games and oh, I lost a disc or whatever, you know, something gets cracked, you've got a great playable backup still on your, uh, on your hard drive. So uh, I'll go through real quickly and show you another interface here. It's just another style, but the same idea. This is a uh, four by two look at um, the cover art of your backups. And all of these covers are available online for free to download. Um, you know, once you have your game copied, it will ask for uh, cover art to be downloaded. So that's another cool feature with the uh, multi-man software. If you uh, scroll through, like I said, that was a 4 by 2 look here, so it takes a bit more time to scroll through all your games and find the one you're looking for. But they also do have a great um, interface. I think it's the next one here I'll show you. Okay, this is another list view, which we'll, we've seen earlier, but this one actually has a, a bit cooler backgrounds on it. If you go one more, Yet another list view. I don't know why there's so many. Let me go again. Okay, this one is, um, I, I don't know if you would call it like uh, cover flow, kind of like how Apple does their previews. But this one is pretty awesome to navigate because you can see everything pretty clearly and you're getting a look at about eight or ten games at a time. Um, still not to my favorite. This one is uh, individual games, one at a time takes a lot longer to load everything as you can see the delay there switching between games and finally this is the one I prefer you get a huge heads up tiny uh, thumbnails of all your covers you're looking at somewhere between 20 to 30 games at a time and uh, it, it just really allows you to find the one you want I mean if you've got a hundred couple games actually I've got 219 games if you look down in my collection here so with the 219 games that I have, I spend a good 30 minutes looking through the physical discs trying to find the one I want to play. This 
lets me search easily, quickly, and uh, a lot of times the games will even load quicker, uh, you know, not running off of a disk. So let me find one just to give you a demonstration of uh, how it loads and everything. And uh, let's see what's a quick loading game. Here we go. One of my favorites, a zombie series called Dead Rising. This is uh, Dead Rising number two. So I will hit uh, X on the control pad to load the game. It's going to verify the data from the USB hard drive. And we give it a moment to load. Okay, now you're probably thinking, oh no, what happened? Well, this is where it's cool. Because it's loading off of a USB hard drive, it actually has to emulate a disk. So what it does is it takes you back to the home screen, and if I scroll up a couple spots, there's my game, Dead Rising 2. So it's recognizing it almost as if the disk is in the machine, right there. See with the blue disk, I'll, I'll switch up real fast, you'll see it. It'll be the blue disk and then it'll switch to Dead Rising 2. There you go. So it, it's emulating the, the CD of the game. I'll go ahead and hit X again to start it up just like I would any other game. And we'll give it a moment, and you should see it launch right up. So the software I was using there to manage my games is called Multiman. It's a wonderful piece of software. Um, makes everything easy, allows you to rename your files, change graphics, all sorts of options. So it's a, it's a good way to manage your collection of backups. And uh, yeah, it's a great product. So as you can see here now, Dead Rising 2 is starting up. I have not changed anything. It's loading right off the USB drive. It's going to check all my uh, save games and all my content. And as you can see, there are my save games from playing previously. And uh, I can go ahead and load one of those up if we have a moment. Try not to drag this video out too long. I'm sure you get the idea. And it's loading. And here we have it, guys. This is my current save game, loaded from Multiman, my game backup manager. And that is uh, Dead Rising 2. So if you guys uh, actually want to see this game in action, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do a demo or a review of this game. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.